Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get rid of your ex-boyfriend in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on the all new Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And I'm excited about today's episode because we get to remove someone from a photograph. And I figured, why not make it an ex-boyfriend or a girlfriend? And it's, I think it's gonna be super useful because a lot of time I'm looking online and I always see pictures of like there's, you know, the, the subject, like a Facebook profile picture, and there's always like someone cut off there and there's like a, a hand on the shoulder. And it's always totally awkward. So I was like, all right, we need to make an episode and teach people how to do this properly so you can <laughs> really get someone gone out of your life for good, even in your photo. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, so here's our image for today. This is from photolia.com, and uh, I'm gonna make up a couple characters because I just kind of want to. This is gonna be Kimberly, and this is going to be Eric. And uh, Kimberly is no longer with Eric. She was a little bit creeped out by how he just snuck up behind her and rested his hands on her, on her shoulders. So we're gonna be getting rid of Eric completely in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and talk about a couple of things that are gonna be a little bit on the challenging side that we need to take care of. All right, first thing that we need to take care of, let's just zoom in here. Um, we've got some hands that are obviously covering up part of Kimberly, and this is covering up her shoulder, and uh, this means that we don't have shoulders. So it's, this is not just gonna be like getting rid of the background, like, you know, it's not just gonna be clone stamping away hands from the background because we actually need to affect uh, Kimberly and we need to give her new shoulders as well. And we also need to get rid of all this stuff here in the background and uh, make a nice accurate selection that's gonna make it look like just she is standing out from this image without Eric there uh, creeping behind her. So all this can be done with the pen tool, the clone stamp tool, and the brush tool. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and start off, um, we're gonna take care of this side first because it's gonna be a little bit easier. What we're gonna do, basically we need to make a selection that's going to include Eric's hand here and uh, define Kimberly's shoulder as well. So I'm gonna grab my pen tool. This is really gonna be the best tool for making selections like this. Basically I wanna start right down here and kinda of like go up, ease into where her shoulder's gonna be, and then I'm gonna click here and just kinda of like figure out where her shoulder might actually be. Now like, I don't have any information there, but I can kind of see, you know, bits of her shoulder and generally people's shoulders all look the same. They just kind of round out and go to right about there. So that's gonna be the shape of her shoulder. So we're basically just defining this. All right, now I'm gonna hold Alt or Option. We're gonna click on this and I'm gonna change the direction of our uh, pen path there. We're gonna click up here, there we go. And then this is gonna just come right around here and include his hand. So we're gonna make this into a selection in just a little bit, but basically the idea here is to include the hand or the person you wanna get rid of, and as well as define the area of the person. So we can use this selection twice for two different things. So let's create a new layer. Here, I'm gonna, I've got my pen tool, I'm gonna to right click in here, and I'm gonna go down to make selection. All right, we're gonna feather that by 0.5 pixels. Generally, it's a good idea to put a little bit of feathering in there. It just helps it make it more realistic. All right, let's hit OK, and uh, we're good to go. Now, in this case, it's really nice and simple. The background is basically just white, right? This is just a, a white background, and that's all I need to do. So inside of my selection, I'm going to grab my brush tool. You can use a clone stamp tool if you want. We're going to do that later, but I'm going to hold Alt or Option with my brush tool to sample that white color, and then I'm just going to simply paint it in right over here. All right, now this is great when the background's nice and easy. I'm gonna show you on the right side, it's not so easy. Okay, so now that we've got that painted in, that looks good. We've gotten rid of his hand, but we need to take care of Kimberly's shoulder as well. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to select, and then we're gonna go down to inverse the selection. So now, if I was to paint, it would actually just paint where Kimberly's shoulder is and not where Eric's hand was. So what we're going to do is I'm just gonna grab my clone stamp tool now. So S for the clone stamp tool. And if I wanna hide this selection, I can do that by hitting Control or Command H. All right, it's gonna ask you if you wanna hide Photoshop, hide the extras, whatever. We're gonna hit hide the extras. And so I, I don't see the dotting, like the little dotted lines, but it's still there. If you want it back, just hit Control or Command H again. Okay, so here we are. We've got our clone stamp tool, and I'm simply gonna hold Alt or Option to sample right about there. And we're gonna start painting in right up there. 
There we go. And I want to make sure I'm, you know, sampling in pretty much from the edge there. Something relatively similar to what, you know, her, her hair would wind up being. All right. And really, that's, that's pretty much it, which is uh, it's pretty nice, actually. All right. So relatively easy there. And if you wanted to add a little bit more embellishment, I'm going to grab my brush tool. We're going to grab this white color again, and I'm just going to paint really lightly on the edge there. You can probably barely see what I'm doing, so I'll hit the Command-Z to give you a before and after. All right, Command-Z, that's without it. Let's just zoom in, and that's with it. What this does is just gives like a little bit of glow from the edge, and it helps make it look real. So we've taken care of half the problem. Now let's go into the other side that's going to be a little bit more uh, challenging. So remember, we just want to make sure we can make a selection all around Eric that's going to completely remove him. So we're going to start up right about here, kind of come down in this area. There we go. And then basically, let's click and drag there. We're just going to, again, kind of outline Kimberly here and make sure we include Eric in this selection as well. All right. And I'm kind of just defining these shoulders as, you know, like I, I can't see obviously exactly what, what is there. But I'm just kind of like, like using my memory of what I remember people's shoulders look like. Um, that's how <laughs> that's how I'm creating these magic shoulders. It's really, it really is magical. All right, there we go. Let's maybe bring that down a little bit more, make it less rough, less less harsh. All right, there we go. And using my pen tool here, basically what I'm doing is um, I'm holding Alt or Option anytime I need to make a change of angle, and if I just need a straight, like a continuous curve, I'm just going to click and drag and define each of these curves. So we're clicking and dragging there. And then down here, I'm going to click and drag it down in this direction. Now, the pen tool is a little bit on the complicated side. Be sure to check out our great episode on how to use the pen tool uh, if you need a little bit of a brush up on actually using the pen tool. All right, let's go ahead and complete our selection. So now we've got a selection that basically comes right around here includes all of Eric and defines Kimberly as well. So we're going to again right click here. I'm going to go do make selection, feather this by 0.5. Okay. And now we're going to create a new layer and we're going to start painting in here. Now I'm going to wind up cropping out a bit of Eric. I, I don't need the picture to be that wide. So we're going to use a little bit of the crop tool. But to start off with, we, we're going to go ahead and just start off with a clone stamp tool. So clone stamp tool, make sure you're selecting the current and below layer. And I'm going to hold alt or option here to make a sample point, And then we're just going to start painting that right in. All right. Now, in this case, it's really nice because our background is nice and out of focus. So if you're working on an image where you know your background is super detailed and complex, things like that, um, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for you. But you could probably just crop in a little bit closer, and you wouldn't have to include so much detail. All right. Now, let's go ahead and go down here for a while. I'm going to hold Alt or Option. We're going to sample right over here. And then holding the shift key as well, I can see a little preview of what I'm actually going to paint. There we go. And now I can kind of just paint this in right over there. All right, we're seeing a little bit of a duplication. No problem. Just hold Alt or Option again. Sample there. Hold sh that shift key. And we can just kind of paint that in. All right, and the same thing over here. So we're basically just painting in all the way to the edge. All right, and for here, I'm just going to grab our brush tool because this is just like blue and white. We can just grab our brush tool and kind of paint this in. No problem. Sorry, Eric. It's like you were never there. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and grab the clone stamp tool again. And we're going to sample right over here. Let's go ahead and just paint this area in. All right, and then some nice area over there. Beautiful. Minus that area that I just did. OK. There we go. And you can be as creative in, as you want with this and spend as much time. I'm doing a relatively quick job over here, especially in this just like green foliage, um, because I know I'm going to be cropping that out anyway. But I do want to make sure I, do, I get rid of Eric, because it's bad news, man. We just don't want him hanging around anymore. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to just use the brush tool now to kind of clean this up a little bit. We're going to grab a couple colors here and there we go. Just kind of paint that in and use a soft edge brush and just kind of like blur everything around. 
There we go. So we've taken care of the outside pretty well. We're going to crop him out. So just pretend just like that. And now we need to take care of the inside of uh, Kimberly. We need to give her a new shoulder. So again, what we're going to do is go to select. I'm going to go down here to inverse. Okay, now it's selected just on her. And we're just going to grab the brush tool and I'm going to grab this color here and just start painting in. All right, and then I'm going to grab another color on her shoulder and just kind of paint this in. You can use your clone stamp tool here as well. Like if I'm going to hit S for the clone stamp tool, uh, feel free. If the clone stamp tool works for you and you, ha you have enough area to actually clone, um, I would recommend using the clone stamp tool. If you don't have enough area, like if, you know, if for instance, if I had to, you know, if I was trying to use a clone stamp tool and I, I can, didn't have enough information there, um, you can always grab the brush tool, it's, especially with people's bodies and things like that. Um, it's, you'd be amazed at how easily you can just like paint new body parts in it. Um, I don't recommend doing this on faces, because faces are pretty distinct and they're harder to paint. Um, but with body parts, especially like arms and legs and stuff like that, um, it's really not, not that difficult to do. You can see I just did it right now. I'm just grabbing different colors with my paintbrush and uh, painting them in. All right, there we go. We'll grab a little bit of our lighter color for the edge, just like we said before. I'm going to hit Controller Command H so we can see what we're doing here. All right, there we go. And let's just grab that color and paint it in. Let's go ahead and zoom out and make sure we're looking pretty good. All right, get some of this lighter color for her arm there. All right, that looks pretty good. Just painted that arm in in no time flat, and uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and the next thing we want to do in our very last step is just crop in a little bit. So now is the time when you crop in and you can get rid of someone, namely Eric. Don't even get me started. <laughs> and, uh, crop in, and uh, there is your profile picture, Kimberly. Let's hit the, uh, I'm going to unclick this delete crop pixels back so we can get more information back. If I wanted to go wider at any point in time, we want to make sure we uncheck that. Let's go ahead and check that. And uh, there is our boyfriend removal. Let's shift click and uh, hit command G on those two layers and uh, group them together. All right, let's take a look at this before and our after. So here's our before and our after. Thanks so much for watching today's episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning how to remove your ex from a photo in Photoshop. I expect to see no more hidden shoulders and other people's arms and hands on you in your profile pictures online. Thanks so much. If you like what we're doing here at Flurm, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can receive free Photoshop and photography updates every single week. And leave us a comment down below if you have an idea for an episode or if you have a question about today's episode. We'd love to help. Share Flurm with your friends and let's remove all those X's from photos in Photoshop. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll Flurm you later. Bye, everyone. Kimberly says, oh my god, thank you. Eric was a total ass. Eric, I know, that guy was an ass. I'm so glad I learned how to get rid of him in my profile pics.